Hey everyone, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we're going to look at advanced mobile care here. This is a Swiss Army knife of uh, of security and performance apps, or controls, shall we say, uh, of one app for your um, Android phone or tablet. Um, this has uh, actually been around for a while. Uh, however, they have a new version, uh, 3.0. And it includes uh, some new features like anti-theft, uh, a call blocker. Um, it's now available for the Nexus 7 and other tablets. And there's an improved battery saver. Um, so let's go. It's very simple to use. Uh, has a, like I said, a lot of different features. And right when you open the app, you'll see this nice big scan. You go ahead and hit that. And um, sometimes you got to hit it twice. <laughs> if you don't tap it right the first time um, and it will go through now I'm not going to find too much in here as far as um, it's going to go through and look for viruses now that hopefully will be blank but um, it goes through and looks for uh, cache files which uh, I may not have too much because I just ran it before and uh, it'll also tell you if you have any junk files which I would assume that'll be empty as well but I've had uh, definitely when I've run it before I've had a, definitely a few junk files so it takes about a minute or so here we're up to over 75 percent and uh, it's going through quickly well there's a little bit of, uh, of uh, cash here so um, what you can do in in here is uh, obviously there's viruses it will show you but it's uh, that's okay that was clear you can see what tasks are running and you can uh, see the cache files and cache files are residual files left by apps you like to delete those periodically uh, the default is to check them all um, you can also uncheck it here and check which ones you want but you really should just leave it checked and then junk files uh, I have none but if I did have any they would show and right now they're all zeros there. You can also add in call logs and uh, text messages uh, as well. And you can see temporary files. So there'd be numbers there, and then you can delete them. Once you're all set, hit repair, and that's very quick, and you're done. Um, now down here is where you get into the other features, and there are two quick ones to get to. But if you hit the middle, which is similar to your launcher in a lot of uh, Android phones, you can get all the selections that you got. You can see there's a lot of stuff here, so let's just go through them quickly. Game Speeder is one where you can add games to this. So basically, go to the menu, you add a game, you just go through and check off whichever apps or games that you well, not apps, but games pretty much most of the time it's games that are. Um, that are going to be um, intensive on your CPU. This will actually help it run a lot smoother, and believe me, it works. Um, so that's really cool feature. You don't find that too much in a lot of these type of apps. The app manager is self-explanatory. Uh, you can quickly uninstall apps from this list, and you can also move apps to the SD card, which is a nice feature. I don't have an SD card on this uh, device, but I could go in and check which ones uh, to move, which that was uninstall. And uh, here's the move feature, and uh, again, no SD card. And then there's an APK file manager. Whoops, I keep hitting my fingers far away, so I'm not aiming correctly. Sorry about that. APK file manager. Um, I don't have any, but there's that as well, uh, where you can, you know, install right from there without having to get into the file manager, um, or, and pretty easy to use. Um, the battery saver. This is a feature here. I go in and it'll tell you how much uh, battery you have left and how much remaining time, which is nice. Seven hours and 40 minutes. Uh, if you go over here and you can see what you've used, um, you know, what has actually used up your battery the most. Obviously, the screen in most circumstances. And over here, you will get your uh, other information like your status, your health, voltage, and all that good stuff. Down here is where you can turn the battery saver on or off. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn it on. And right away, the display becomes very dim here, um, although it looks a little bit brighter on the video screen. But um, I'll go ahead and turn it off, and it just changed it back. They don't really tell us what um, what exactly the battery saver does other than change the display, but they've improved it, and I did ask uh, the question, but I don't get an answer other than it helps your battery. So, um, you know, every phone is different, but uh, give that a shot. 
Uh, task killer is not something that I recommend ever getting involved with, but it is here, and it is just one thing I would just stay away from. Uh, you can go in and kill any particular apps, but Android has its own um, task management uh, feature that works fine, and you don't need to get involved in that. Privacy Advisor uh, is also uh, another area where you can go in and quickly see what types of apps have what types of privacy. So you can see right here there's 13 apps that read the identity, 6 that make phone calls, 12 that read locations, 7 that access control. There, I have 7 ad applications also uh, up there that's, uh, that, that there are ads involved in it and access to uh, SMS text messages and so you can go into each of these and then look at what are these apps that do this so these are the apps that uh, deal with location and you can uh, you know check it out and then you can even get um, you can go in here and uninstall if you don't like it right away um, or you can try to find out more about it or contact a developer and see if if they're on the up and the up that's up to you to do that uh, Privacy Locker is a, is a nice feature here. Uh, you can set a password, and there's a nice simple one. And you can go in and lock, say, pictures, video, or files. Now, in this particular phone, this is a Droid Razor uh, Max HD, and um, I have locked these two photos, but it's not locking. Uh, however, I tested on a Galaxy S3, and it does work. So uh, I think from phone to phone, uh, you might find issues with this. Uh, but uh, I have these two pictures selected, but when I go into the gallery, they are visible. But that what happens here is anything that you put into this uh, area, videos, files, or albums, you will not be able to have access to them unless you come into the app and get them. So that works uh, very nice, um, at least on most phones. The anti-theft... This is an area here where um, you can uh, turn it on or off, and uh, you will. The, the one thing about this, though, is you will need to have this app on the other phone. So, say you lose your phone and you want to send commands to it, um, you will have to install this app. So, say, please make sure to turn turn on the anti-theft on this phone, and remember the password. When this phone is lost, please get another phone which has advanced mobile care. So, if you are uh, like your spouse, friend, or whatever, and you don't know where your phone is, if they don't have advanced mobile care, you're going to have to install it. Doesn't take long, but it is what it is. And then. To find the lost phone, add the lost phone number, then choose to alarm lock or get the location, and you can do all that. Uh, so it is a little strange for the anti-theft feature. That's usually not the case. You can usually do what uh, SMS text messages, but that's not the case here. Last but not least is cloud backup, which I haven't gotten involved with too much, but you can back up uh, your contacts and your call logs and restore them at any given time. Uh, again, nice simple feature. But I think right now the big thing about this is is this uh, you know it is like it says it's a Swiss Army knife of all app of you know of of a bunch of different features for uh, security and performance. And you're you know. You're not going to use everything, but I would say that the top things uh, that you'd want to get this app for is the game speeder, and uh, the privacy advisor is nice for you to quickly look at things, and I think a lot of people need that. I think hardcore Android users definitely look at that when they download apps from the Play Store, but a lot of people don't. That's nice to have, and... Um, the uh, oh yeah and the and the and the first scan that scans for viruses and cleans up the cache I think that's a good thing and people should do regularly. The other stuff, the battery saver, those are all things uh, that you could enjoy. And the privacy locker is also something nice as well. And the cloud backup, but that seems to be an overkill there. If you got everything in Gmail, what's the big deal? Um, in fact, the only thing there would be the call logs. And you know, to me, I switch phones all the time. I really don't worry about my a history of calls but some people do and that's okay um, the task killer isn't really anything great the anti-theft is nice to have it's always nice to have if you don't have one anyway so if you do get this app and you didn't have an anti-theft to begin with great to have so you gotta download it onto another phone no big deal um, so anyways it's called advanced mobile care give it a shot um, it's absolutely free there's a lot of people using this app it's uh, I think it's over 500,000 uh, users, it's, and it's got a pretty good rating in the Play Store. Very good, very easy to use, I uh, really like it. So give it a try, and uh, let me know what you think.
Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.